This episode of Love Lauren is sponsored by SB Fabrication and Parts. decals for the um, for the chain case. I'm going with the, I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's, it's sort of white on white, but um, I'm going with the older style Scott Bonner um, logo uh, rather than the sort of wings and medallion style. Um, so that's going to fit about there and then the 45 will be sort of centered um, below it. So I'm just going to check on the positioning um, check a few references um, from the restorations group, Facebook group and um, just sort of decide on my final positioning. Um, got my blue tape to sort of position that um, roughly how I want it and um, get, a, get a baseline established. So just got to decide where we want this. Um, I think probably up there is fairly common. Um, so we'll pin that um, loosely for now and double check our sources. So I've got my little, uh, my, little reference, uh, my little reference cheat sheet here. This is, um, if you can see that, it's a picture of... Um, of George's mower, I believe, um, and he's got um, he's got his words sort of positioned a little bit lower, sort of coming coming off of this screw point here, and obviously sort of centered, I guess, um, between the two between the two screws, roughly. So I'm going to do the same because um, we're going to emulate George because he's cool. But you notice um, what I'm doing here is I've, I'm doing this with the chain case mounted. On the, on the machine so that, um, you know, it's such a funny shape. So I want to know sort of where is our level line here? Where is our baseline? So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. So got some blue tape and um, I'm just going to try and lay that out um, roughly um, in relation to, to that sticker. I know the bottom of that sticker is square and straight. So that's what I'm going to try and achieve. Um, with my blue tape here now. I'm using the blue tape because it will peel off without um, leaving any residue or harming the, the coating there. I'll just snip the end off here as well, just to get a better sense of our placement here. So I think that looks about right, sort of right in the rub zone where all the, the text normally rubs off these things. So that's cool. What I'm gonna do is just um, a little bit more blue tape just to define my boundary points for this sticker, um, roughly, and um, I think we're ready to go. So these um, these stickers are vinyl cut, um, high quality stickers on a on a backing um, with an with an application layer over top. So before I get on there, um, I'm just going to give um, give our surface a bit of a clean. And just give it a little spritz as well. And I'm going to peel the backing off of this sticker. And give it just a tiny little spritz as well. So that uh, that liquid's going to um, just give us a little bit of leeway in terms of the positioning of this sticker. And lay that on there like that. Step back for a second and see how it looks. And I think. From this angle, it looks all right. I'm just going to start rubbing that down, trying to push out any air bubbles and any water from behind the sticker. I've also got myself a little credit card, old credit card, and a little thickish cotton sort of bed sheet. And I'm just going to use that we're really trying to get this well adhered to this um, hammer tone um, surface. So you may or may not want to use the, the water on your metallic surfaces. My um, father-in-law's a, a professional sign writer and this was a, a tip that he suggested and recommended to me for getting these um, positioned correctly. Um, you know, if you don't want to take that approach, so as I said, there are the vinyl stickers um, can come they can come off again if they really have to um, without too much harm. So I'm just going to double check that 
Okay, before we do anything else, I'll start by removing my blue tape, just to double check. That looks, that looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not very good at putting stickers on, so um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy. Now the trick then is to start peeling off this application paper without removing any of the stickers. Um, if you need to, you know, just go, go easy, use the cloth to um, sort of help smooth them down a little bit. These are coming off really nicely though. go easy on that. Um, let our adhesive so that it will do its thing. I don't have a lot of room to step back and get a good view here, but that's, um, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Scott Boner all the way. So lastly we've got our 45 to go on here as well, so same difference. That should be clean already. Give it just a little light mist. Pull our sticker off. Light mist on it, and I'm going to whack that right there, and try and line that up with the the top text. I'm not quite happy with the positioning of that, so you see, you can see how easily that's come off. I want my four just a little bit more under the B. Of that straight now. So I'll try again just a tiny little bit. A little pull down. Obviously trying to align the baseline of the 45 with the baseline of Scott Bonner and obviously my application paper is not um, not straight so it makes it a little bit uh, a little bit awkward. So just smooth that out as well. And start taking our backing paper off, our application paper, so it's a little bit, um, as we're dealing with the bigger characters here, it's just a little bit tackier. Um, give it a little wipe, and just really gently push down all those elements. Yeah, it's not 100%, um, not but it's, I think, 98, so I'm happy with that. We're working on the curved surface here, obviously, sort of in random space. Could it have been a little bit further over that way? Maybe, but I kind of think just dead center is a little bit boring to look at, so I don't know. I wanted a little bit further that way, and that's, um, that's what I've done. And that, I think, is what I shall live with now. Since I neglected to record the process for adhering the catcher stickers to the 14 inch catcher, I thought I'd show you the process on this 17 inch twin. The catchers and catcher stickers are identical in this case, but note the other stickers differ, depending on whether you're working on a solid or a twin, or an earlier model Scott Bonner or a Rover. The catcher is mounted on the mower, and the mower is sitting on a flat, level surface, so we can ensure our stickers will go on straight. It's also a good idea to ensure the catcher is sitting straight on the hanger pins. We'll use the largest of the medallion and wing stickers for this job. Again, these are professionally printed vinyl cut stickers on a backing paper. They also come with a mounting paper on the show side, so they're all ready to go. Check out SP Fabrication and Parts for a variety of sticker options to match the colour scheme of your build. We'll start by carefully cutting out the sticker we need for this job. Leave at least one of the original edges if you can to help with alignment later. If you're looking for exact sticker locations, be sure to check out the Bonner Bible for all the details. This is an exclusive resource for members of the Scott Bonner Restorations Facebook group. So be sure to join the group if you're not already a member. It's one of our favorite groups on Facebook, and it's extremely well run. As with the chain cover, we'll wipe the catcher surface down to remove any dust. We'll establish a long baseline with painter's tape to serve as a reference for the straight edge of our sticker. The blue tape won't peel off your coating, and it also comes off cleanly without leaving any residue behind. I put the tape under the sticker in this case, but it would have been best to locate it along the top edge of the decal, which is straight. No biggie though. Go slow and take your time with this process. Center the sticker by eye or with a ruler if you're that sort of person. Then step back and see what you think.
Once we're happy with the position, we peel off the backing paper. Again, we'll miss both the catcher surface and the back of the vinyl sticker. The water won't hurt the sticker or the catcher and helps us to adjust the sticker position until we're ready to commit. Our credit card wrapped in a couple of layers of soft cloth is used to squeeze out any air bubbles and adhere the sticker in its final position. If you do need to make any subsequent adjustments, the tip of a knife can be used to gently lift the sticker so it can be adjusted or removed. A final check and we can remove the backing paper gently to avoid pulling up the sticker itself. This is more of a problem with stickers having small text though. If you're wondering, these stickers adhere equally well to the hammered powder coat finish as they do to this smoother finish. We finally remove the blue tape and double check our work. This mower is starting to look the part now. In addition to the chain cover and catcher stickers, there's the medallion to go on the handlebar cover plate. You can buy these as a sticker or as a brass plate, which is really cool. SB Fabrication and Parts sells both. The brass medallion can be stuck on with a bit of silicon. I don't have any video of that one, but the advice I'll share is not to use blue tape on the bronze medallion. I did, and I pulled up a bit of the printing, so be extra careful there. Apart from Duff Hells, to finish off the um, the pretty bits, um, I've got these little plugs. In this case is a little blind grommet that I got from Clark Rubber to complement the chain case cover. Um, and that's going to fit in here like that. Now, in this case it's quite loose, so I'm going to probably end up having to glue that in place. Um, but that's where that's going to sit. Um, if you're not using black, you can get a set of these thingies and they sort of they'll pop in there a bit of warm water just to soften that plastic a little bit helps to ease them into place 